Hi, in this module we're going to look at the code for the global and local scopes. First, I want to point out that when you have a Jupyter Notebook like this, then it is actually running inside a module. It is a module. So when I type this line of code A equals 10, I've essentially created a global variable to the notebook or to the module. It's no different than if I had gone to maybe PyCharm and I've got a module and I type A equals 10 in here, and then I can print A, right? It is A equals 10 is now a global variable. It's scoped globally, which means it has a module scope. So if I run this, we get what we would expect. It prints out 10. All right, so this is really no different. So don't get confused by the fact that I'm running this inside a notebook. It doesn't make any difference. It's still a module. So let's switch back to the uh, notebook. So now obviously we have this global variable and it's global. Let's say we define a function, my func n. So it's a parameter n. And then we say c equals n to the power of two. So we're squaring n and then we're going to return that value c. Now what we have here, my func has two local variables. c is obviously local because we're assigning a value to this label inside the function. So it's determined to be local to my func. And then any parameter is also a local label. So n lives in the local scope of my func. Now my func can access the global variables as well. So if we say def my func, and we'll keep it as before, but now I'm going to print. I'm going to say global uh, a, and we're going to retrieve the value of a. You'll notice that this is not an assignment. I'm retrieving the value of a. I haven't assigned anything to a in my func, which means that Python will say, okay, it has to be somewhere in, you know, a scope above it. In this case, my func is in the global scope directly, so it's going to look in the global scope and then the built-in scope if it doesn't find it there. And if it doesn't find it in the built-in scope, then we'll get an error. So now we can also say c equals a to the power of n. Um, that's fine. We can access a, right? We're not assigning a value to a here. And then return c. So now if we call my func, let's say of 2, then we get global a is 10. So it printed that out and then it returns c, which was 10 to the power of 2, 100. Okay. Now, you've got to be careful if you want to assign a value inside the function. Because if we do this, def my func, let's do the same thing again. And here I'm going to say a equals 20. And then I'm going to say c equals a to the power of n and return c. Okay. Then what happens here is that I've assigned a value to a. So if we look at the value of a currently, and remember now this line of code is being executed in the module. So it's going to look at the global variable a, which has a value of 10. If I call my func with a value of 2, so n is 2, inside my func it's going to set a to 20, okay, and then we return that value here. But let's look at the value of a again. It is still 10. This line of code right here, a equals 20, did not modify the global variable because Python saw an assignment and said, aha, this is an assignment. I didn't see a global keyword anywhere, so a is going to become a local variable. So essentially what happens here is that inside my func, a is a local variable. We've essentially masked or shadowed the outer scope variable a. And you can no longer see that variable inside my func. So something to be careful of. So if we want to access and modify the global variable a, we have to tell Python explicitly that this is going to refer to the global variable a. So here we would have to say def my func, and let's keep it exactly the same. The only difference is that I'm going to now put this line in, global a, and then set a equal to 20, c equals a to the power of n, return c. Okay. So now if I call um, or if I print out a, now my func hasn't run yet, right? So nothing's changed. But if I call my func, say with value of 2, then it returns 400 just as before. But now look at what happens when I print a out. 
a is now indeed 20, which was what I changed it to from inside the my func function. When you use the global keyword, the global variable doesn't actually even have to exist. Let's see what I mean by that. Let's def my func. And I'm not going to put any parameters. We'll simplify it now a little bit. And I'm going to call this, I'm going to say, hey, I've got a global variable called var. And then I'm going to assign a value to it. Say hello world. Okay. And I'm just going to return nothing. Okay. So now if I print out the value of var, well, that doesn't exist, right? Yes, because we never defined var in the module. We never said var equals something or other. However, if we now run my func, okay, nothing happens because we don't return anything. But look at what happens when I print out the value of var. Now it exists. What happened is that Python saw this and said, okay, this is a global variable. Then we assigned a value to it. Very happily did it, said sure. So it created the variable in the global scope, assigned a value to it. And then we returned out of the function. And because it was global, that variable label is still available and still points to whatever this was pointing to before. Now, there is something you have to be careful of. And that is with the fact that you use this global keyword. If you use it anywhere in the function, Python will then say this functions, the, this uh, variable is global no matter where else you use it in the uh, function itself. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say we have a uh, global variable. Let's say a equals 10. And let's go ahead and define my func. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, print global a. Okay. So now if we run my func, then it just prints a equals 10. Okay. Well and good. Now let's say I go ahead and say global a and then a equals hello. Okay. Now if I call my func, what's happening? Remember, a is going to be global, right? So now we're assigning hello to the global variable a and then we're printing out the global variable a. So we print out hello. And if we now look at a, its value is indeed hello. But let's say we had this. Let's say we have a equals 10. I'll do that again. I'll reset it back to 10. And let's create this function and let's print out the global value of a. Okay, so now we're printing out a. Now a isn't, we don't have a global that, you know, that we defined for a. So Python's going to look at a and say, well, you're using this variable without assigning to it first. Therefore, it can't be local scope. It's going to be in the global scope. So it's going to look for it in the global scope in this case. And when we do this, let's say we go ahead and say now a equals hello. Okay. Let's do the same thing as before. Let's do a equals hello world. And now let's print a again. And let's call my func. So what do you think is going to happen? We're going to print out the value of the global value a, which is 10. Then we're going to change a to hello world. Right. And of course, this is going to become a local variable at that point. And then we're going to print a out. And so we shouldn't have affected the global variable. And let's see what happens. And we get an error. Okay. We get this local variable a was referenced before the assignment. Well, yes. What happens, remember, is that Python determines at compile time. Compile time happens here when I hit you know, my shift enter on this function. Okay. Now it's created the function. My func now exists. It's been compiled. It hasn't been executed yet. Okay. That's why nothing happens here after I uh, run this. Okay. After I essentially create the function, nothing's happened yet. I have to call the function now. But at compile time, Python looked at this and said, okay, A is going to be local because here I have an assignment and I didn't say it was global. So it's local. So now when the function runs, it looks for A in the local scope and it doesn't find it. And yet it was marked as a local variable. Hence why when you call it, it says, no, well, you can't do that, right? You get a local variable A is referenced before assignment. It's just as if I'd been in my module and I said print B when I never defined B, right? I get the same kind of error. It says, no, right? B is not defined. 
It's the same kind of thing here. So watch out for that. If you have a piece of code, right, and you make an assignment to a variable, even after you've used it supposedly in the global context, it won't work because it will then be marked as a local variable. So that's kind of an important thing to remember. The next thing I want to point out is that this works with lambdas as well. Lambdas are just functions. So if you do something like maybe um, f equals lambda, lambda takes some variable n, right? And it's going to say print uh, a to the power of n, okay? Now I can print f of two and I get 10 to the power of two, which is 100. It was able to reference the global variable. Now, of course, we can't do all this stuff with marking things as global and then assigning values to it because lambda is a little bit different, right? You really only have a single thing that you can do, right? A single statement. But it works the same way. A lambda is just another function. The other thing, too, is that functions are objects and functions have names. So they also reside in a scope somewhere. So when you look, when you say, let's say, print, hello, right? Or even let's do one like this, print true, it prints out this value here, the string true. What happened? Well, print was a function. It's got to be defined somewhere. So Python first looks for it in the local scope, in this case, the module scope, doesn't find it, says, okay, well, let's look one level up. So now it looks in the built-in scope and fortunately print is in the built-in scope. So it found, you know, it found the function. Next was true. Well, again, it looked for true in the local scope, in our current local scope, which is our module scope, our global scope, it doesn't find it there, so it looks in the built-in scope. This means, of course, that you can do things that redefine, for example, functions. So, for example, let's say we do this. Let's say we say print equals, and let's just use a lambda. And you don't have to use a lambda, you could just say def print, right? And it's gonna take x, and it's going to return Hello, X, right? Whatever X was, um, like so. So now if I say print um, world, okay, what does it do? It actually returns the string, hello world, right? You'll notice that this wasn't actually the print function, right? The print function, remember, can take multiple parameters. So if we put, let's say, hello world, that, okay, we get an error because print takes one positional argument, which of course, that's our function print here. So be careful with reusing built-in names because you're essentially going to replace the functionality of whatever that you know built-in does. So right now we can't print anything out because we've lost the print function. It's now using our own print function. So how do we get it back? Well, we can delete the variable. And so we're going to delete this variable label called print and now it's going to go out of scope and now if we say print world it's just going to print world right it's gone back to the regular print function one last thing i want to talk about and that's really more applicable if you've worked in other programming languages like java and and you know maybe uh, c sharp um the there's also there are additional scopes within your code that that occur and they occur within something called code blocks. So for example, if you have a, um, and let me switch now to kind of a code example. Obviously I can't um, execute Java here, but let's say I write this for int i um, equals zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus. And so we have this loop and inside this loop, we define a variable called x and uh, we make it, let's say, two to the two times i, okay? Now, if we go out here and we say system out print ln x, this would error out because what happens here is that this variable x has been created inside this loop's code block and it is therefore local to the code block. It is not global. It, it doesn't live outside of the code block. Even though this is directly, you'll notice, in my module, right? Or in my class, if you're working in Java. And so you might be uh, asking yourself, well, does the same thing happen in Python? If I've got a for loop and I declare a variable inside the for loop, does it then become available outside of the for loop? And let's say I'm running this directly in the global module. 
Well, the equivalent would be in Python to say for i in range 10, right? And then here we'll say x equals 2 times i, okay? And so if we execute that, that ran. Didn't show any output, but it ran. However, what happens now is that x actually does exist outside and after the full loop is finished running. So it's not quite the same. It's not like you have variables that go in and out of scope inside the inside your code block that's inside the loop, for example, or an if statement even. All right, so if you're used to other programming languages, be careful. It doesn't work the same way in Python. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.